Jason's graphed this for us, and now let's see what he's done. So the number under the x is one of the dimensions squared, and the number under the y is the other dimension squared, right? The one under x goes the x direction. The one under y goes the y direction. So since this is a 16, the square root of 16 is 4. The square root of 9 is 3. So technically, this one we would call A, and this one we would call B. However, I'd like you to be careful not to get so caught up with which one is A and which one is B and which one is C. Because if you really get stuck on which letters mean which things, it's just going to make it harder when we move on to hyperbolas. So just realize that this is the length the x direction because it's under the x. This is the length the y direction because it's under the y. And the larger one is where the vertices are located. So we have a vertex here at 4, 0. And there's another vertex here at negative 4, 0. We have this other point at 0, 3, and this other point here at 0, negative 3. But we don't have a name for those. They're not called vertices. They're just the other points that help us graph it on the ends of the minor axis. Okay? Let's just write down all the details we have here. So um, the vertices then are at negative 4, 0 and positive 4, 0. Where's the center located? 0, 0. Um, if you want to, you could give the length of the major axis. How long is the major axis? 8. How long is the minor axis? 6, because it's twice the length of the, that distance, right? Okay, now let's do a tricky one. Let's find the foci. Okay, so remember we learned that to find the foci, C is the square root of A squared minus B squared. So 16 minus 9 is, thank you, so C is the square root of 7. And since the center is at 0, 0, that's pretty easy because that means that the foci would be located at square root of 7, 0 and negative square root of 7, 0. And there's the foci. What if the center was not at 0, 0? Then how would you figure this out? you would have to take that center point and add square root of 7 and subtract square root of 7 to get to the correct point. We'll probably do one like that.